Okay, so it is official. We have officially left the cabin and Nova Scotia. Um, so we left last night, which was Friday night. We drove for about five hours until we entered New Brunswick. Uh, once we entered New Brunswick, we were way too exhausted to keep driving. So we took a nap um, at a rest stop and then we continued the journey this morning. We are now heading into Quebec. Um, I always get that, it's Quebec, Quebec. Quebec, Quebec. So far, there haven't been any road closures or any kind of checkpoints, so that's great. So the journey to Toronto is about 20 hours and we've completed almost half of it. So we just have about a 10 to nine to 10 hours left. So we hope to get into Toronto by today night so saturday night because on sunday we have to go get a covid test because our flight is on monday so we don't want to miss that covid test so we want to try to make sure we get into toronto tonight no matter how late it gets so yeah that's kind of the plan and we'll take you along finally made it to our hotel that was a long long drive from Nova Scotia to Toronto but we made it uh, and it is still Saturday but it's almost midnight so we cut it really close we have a long list of things to get done tomorrow but for now we are both just I know give me one second I'll take you but for now we are all just so exhausted so we're gonna just Go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. It is Sunday morning and we both had a really good night's sleep and we desperately needed that yep. and we feel really good today. We have a couple of errands to run, we're going to get that started. First thing on the agenda is uh, to take Kala to a park so we can run around a bit and do his business and then once we're done with that we will uh, probably go get our COVID test yeah. and then we also have some shopping on the agenda so let's see how it goes. Oh, it's not 
favorite park. It's our usual park. that we would always come to. It's called Morningside Park and it was really close to our house so every time we, we get bored we just come over to the park and just being in Toronto after two years it's bringing back so many memories. It feels, it feels very nostalgic and we're having a great time. Okay. You got it. Good boy. Right. <laughs> so it looks like Kala is really enjoying it and he really this is like much deserved for him like it was a 20 hour trip right and it was uncomfortable even for us but this guy he's just like he was such a blessing he didn't he didn't fuss at all he didn't make a sound he was just he was just great and so he deserves this So we're here at the clinic to get our uh, COVID test done. Um, we actually, our appointment is actually at 12 o'clock uh, and we're trying to see if they can like kind of squeeze us in because we are a little early. Uh, so we're gonna go check that out now and then we'll get that done. Let's go. It's been a while since we've seen this many people, right? <laughs> yep. Oh. Crazy. So many people. Well, it's, it's literally the same, it's just everyone's wearing a mask. Okay, so yesterday was quite an interesting day. We left the hotel, we went and got our COVID test done. Uh, by the way, it was negative, so we can fly, thank goodness. After we got our test done, we decided we'd go do a little shopping that we had left over. And there were lines for every shop we wanted to go to, so that took longer than we anticipated. And then when we were finally done with that, we uh, decided to go to Charlie's place. Uh, if you're wondering uh, where Kala's going to stay while we're in India, uh, Kala's actually gonna stay uh, with Charlie for a while uh, and just hang out with his dogs as well. So we went over uh, just to say hi to him before we dropped them off today so we went over to charlie's hung out with him for a bit let the dogs get to know each other and um we came back to our hotel we just finished any final packing and then around three o'clock in the night uh kala woke us up and he was whining and he was it seemed like he was in a lot of pain so i'm thinking what might have happened is because he played around with the dogs and he might have hurt himself in the process we really didn't know what was happening with him so we ended up taking him to the animal hospital luckily there were a lot of 24-hour uh, animal hospitals around here so we took him to one of the hospitals and they took a look at him they said it's nothing too serious he mostly just hurt himself playing it's okay, Carla, Okay. The doctor actually gave him some pain medication to help him sleep better and he's been doing much better since and today is the day we're actually going to be dropping him off at Charlie's. Come on, sit, sit. Come on, sit. Yeah, that's a good boy. Mm -hmm. yep. As needed. Yep. Um, and you got pill pockets to put them in. So oh, that's cool. We just use peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> So when you, no, you, you don't have the whole bottle. So yeah, just, just maybe one when you come back if he's like yeah. in pain. But he doesn't seem to be. So I don't know, as me, whatever, use your discretion. 
Okay. But it's one injury he does, is what she said. But I think we should still like isolate them for today so he can rest. Yes. Okay, who's driving shotgun? <laughs> Yes. You'll have to get oh. in through the other side. Other side? Okay. That was relatively easy. So we checked in, we got through security and then we got really hungry. So now we're at the gate getting some food. I mean, got some food. And yeah, we're ready to board our flight. It's feeling more and more real now. Leading up to this, it was all like, oh my God, like, are we here? Are we here? Are we here? And now it feels real, like we're here. You know what I mean? have landed in Frankfurt. We have our connecting flight to India from here. I think we're at that point where we're kind of crashing and we're, we're, we're so sleepy because it's like what, 4 a.m. our time? 
but it's actually like morning here. We both really miss Kala. We've been looking at his pictures <laughs> pretty much all evening. Um, and I, I can't thank Charlie enough for taking him for the next uh, month. I know he's gonna be really good there, but we just really miss him. And for the past year, he's been with us. Like he's never left our side, right? And it, it kind of feels weird not having him around. And definitely next year, hopefully when the restrictions and everything ease up a bit, We'll try to see if we can take him along with us. Anyway, our uh, next stop is India. Uh, we're gonna land in Bangalore, which is which is my like hometown. We've read up that there is a mandatory testing there, but we're not sure how things are gonna go once we land. But yeah, we'll see. For now, I think we're gonna take a nap right here. journey to get to my place to my house so basically we landed like I want to say an hour maybe an hour and a half ago hour and 45 minutes maybe but we had to get like a COVID test done uh, and you had to show the result before you could be let out of the uh, airport so we got that done and then we got out of the airport and now it's like seven o'clock so seven o'clock in the morning and so we're gonna go home and is it I don't know, hang out with my parents and sister and it's going to be awesome. I, I can't like, the excitement will build up when I get closer there but right now I'm just like keeping cool. Yep. here which is like Canada but it's like with a K like Canada and since landing I've had to brush off like two years <laughs> three years of not using it and like bring it back to life and it's been a challenge but I, I think I'm, I'm I think I'm getting through to them and they're kind of understanding what I'm saying a little bit but yeah it's been it's been interesting hasn't it and the weather is just a perfect I think it was I think they said it was 17 degrees on the plane but I think it's warming up a bit now but it's it's perfect and I'm really excited because we're gonna be making a lot of videos here we have a bunch of things planned uh, so stay tuned for that but we're getting pretty close and I'm getting excited I just can't wait for the food oh me neither I'm hungry Just walked in here, just whilst 
in here? Like, you know? 